The Grey Mass EOS Wallet version 0.3 is here, adding in some great features, making it the best EOS Wallet available. What's up guys, my name is Rob, welcome into the channel. In this one, I'm going to go over the new release of the Grey Mass EOS Voter Wallet, which has added in some amazing features, making it, in my opinion, the best EOS Wallet available. But first, to start off, if you're already an EOS Voter user and you don't have the latest version, all you have to do is come to the Help section and cl then click on Releases. That'll take you right to Grey Mass's official GitHub where you can download the latest version. And you can see they've been cranking out updates. This one 14 hours ago, 16 hours ago. But the big changes came here seven days ago with 0 0.3 and then two days ago with 0 0.3.1 which added some great features mainly smarter custom token management better RAM buying and selling multiple accounts set vote proxy account history so a bunch of new features in this Grey Mass EOS Voter Wallet, and let's get into them. So starting off, we're going to start off here on the wallet page, where they have added in a few more buttons over here. Update staked, send tokens, receive tokens, buy RAM and sell RAM. So you can now buy RAM straight from the EOS Voter Wallet, either buy a RAM amount in the form of bytes, or buy EOS amount. So if you wanted to buy one EOS worth of RAM, you just come in here, click one EOS worth of RAM. That's the estimated amount is 3.03 kilobytes of RAM. And it also shows you over here on the side, your EOS balance, the available RAM you already have, used RAM you have, and total RAM you already have. So very nice, you can see your RAM laid out for you, as well as your EOS balance right next to the section where you will input the amount of RAM you wanna buy. Super simple and easy to use, added to the main wallet section. But the majority of the updates have come over here in the tools section. And the first one being airdrops, which we're going to go over. Super nice new airdrop section. You can see all the airdrops available and your balances. And for those airdrops you don't have yet connected, I only have CET, Horus, and Karma, as you can see from my wallet, Karma, Horus, CET. So if I come over to Tools, Airdrops, Custom Tokens, click Scan Balances, 000. Ooh, you can see we got some new airdrops here. So CHL I have 30 of, and IQ I have 76 of, and I do want to add these to the wallet screen, so I'm going to click Track Token, Track Token. And now if I click back over to the wallet section, those new airdrops have been added in here. So very nice, super simple and easy to use. Uh, now come over to tools, airdrops, custom tokens, scan your balances, and then any balances that do show up, you can just click the track token button and they will be viewable on your wallet page. And then for any airdrops you don't wanna see anymore, just come over to this page, unclick whichever ones you want. So if I didn't wanna see any of my airdrops, I'd unclick them all. Then once I come back over to the wallet section, there are no more airdrops there. So let me go click those back on because I do want to see my airdrops. There we go. Just check. And there they are. So next, manage wallets. Here you can import more accounts. So right now I have just one account connected, but if I added more accounts, I'd be able to come up here and change through and select which account I wanted to use. But since I only have one account connected, only one account is available. So super nice feature if you want to add in more than one wallet on your EOS voter. And, and then we still have the key generator here under the tool section where you can generate new keys to make new accounts. Just click generate key. There, there's your public address, private key. Uh, you can also register voting proxy. This is a new feature. But the two main updates that really have the most impact for me on this wallet is definitely this new airdrops custom token section where you can scan your balances and it'll go through the contract and 
show any balances you have of airdrops then you can just track them by clicking track token and also the new feature of being able to buy and sell RAM right from the wallet but like I went over earlier this wallet continues to pump out updates I mean we've seen one two three four updates in the last seven days um, so they continue to pump out updates make the wallet better and better and this continues to be my favorite wallet so if you haven't checked out the gray mass EOS voter EOS wallet yet it is my top wallet that I use for EOS especially with these new features they've added in buying RAM and the ability to scan the blockchain for your airdrops instead of going into a blockchain explorer and finding them yourself and adding them in you just now just click scan balance it'll scan through show you your balances and all you have to do to add them to your wallet page is click track token very simple very easy to use but that's gonna do it for this video guys I just wanted to give you a quick overview of my favorite wallet the EOS voter EOS wallet by gray mass if you do have any questions you can leave them down in the comments below and I will get to them but that's gonna do it for me for this one I will see you guys in the next one and as always stay living that crypto money life